Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Scorpio, we're gonna see what your dreams are trying to tell you this week. I'm gonna see what is the obvious message, um, what you need to know through your dreams, obvious action, but then we're gonna look a little more deeply. What is a deeper hidden message of what you need to know and what kind of action, if anything, your dreams are directing you to take. I am going to start with the Divine Animal Oracle deck and then I've got the Tarot of Dreams ready to go. It is a bit of a subjective week, but even still, I am going to state that this message is general. Because it's general, it may or may not resonate. If it does resonate, I'm glad we're able to connect. If it does not, hopefully the next time. It's like as soon as I start talking, Larry's like, Meow, I'm coming, coming for my adoring fans. Where he is. Let's get started before he tries to take over my table. Okay, Scorpio what you need to know and action to take. <coughs> you know where I am. Oh, interesting. You got the fear card. Maybe there's something here you should be cautious about or somebody around you has some type of fear. That's interesting. What's the action to take? Your intuition, okay, trust your intuition here. It does feel like there could be something going on around you where maybe somebody is, maybe somebody's fearful of you or somebody's fearful of a situation and it would explain um, somebody's actions or behavior. Or it could even be cautioning you, right? Like fear can be a healthy thing here. So what, as I said, we're gonna introduce Tarot to this and see where it really goes. But the action to take honestly is to trust your intuition in some sort of situation here. No, we just got started, honey. Yeah, you can do a quick little cutesy. Gotta go. It's a busy day today, too. I gotta take Lily and Larry to the groomer, so I don't have a lot of just, you know, aw. Somebody else, somebody outside must be having a fire going. He's got a bit of that smoky, cold air smell in his fur. Aw, he just like cuddling. He just cuddling. Aw. So sweet. I got what you did in work. I got work, honey. Mm -hmm. I never knew him such a kissy kissy cat. <laughs> kissy and cuddly. He's really coming into being a rag doll. Aren't you, Larry? You forgot what it's like to be a big, tough, stray cat? Did you forget? Those days are behind you, huh? Oh, You're just a lovely floof. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, there was a comment in the tourist video that says, is it just our reading? Is it just our sign that Larry comes into all the time? <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. I, I don't want to break it. I don't want to break the spell. They think it's just them. Everybody thinks it's just them. I gotta put you down now, baby, okay? There you go. That's a good boy. We bonded, we cuddled and kissed. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. What is the hidden, deeper message? What you need to know here? Loyalty. Now the dog is barking. She wants to come down for cuddles. Loyalty. <clears throat> This is interesting. Be <laughs> Why, Lily? <laughs> because um, we're going to get into the book. Just a little quick reference for each one of these cards to give you a little more detail. It's, um, I want to say, it's something to know here either about loyalties around you or somebody, maybe maybe there, someone has loyalties in another direction, the way this person's been pulled in a different, a different direction. Okay, but we'll get into that. Wow, Snow Leopard, the Watcher, is the action to take watch okay authenticity cycle a piece you go peace and authenticity and cycles is the underlying very interesting finding peace being in a cycle of peace a peaceful authentic authentic cycle right Fear is the, the message, the, what you need to know, the obvious message to know here. 
Huh. Examine your fears, especially the fear of difference, of the unknown and of death. <laughs> so very Scorpionic, isn't it? There may be an abandonment of something, a belief, a person, a place. Remember that because something is strange, it doesn't mean that it cannot be beautiful or good. We all have a job to do. We all have our own genius. Be sure you have the correct information to have a truthful understanding. Hmm. I'm curious. I mean, it does kind of sort of feel like here that there might be something going on around you. It doesn't make sense. Um, you may even be abandoning the idea of something, uh, a belief or a person or a place. You might, you may not have all the information, but yet you are being asked to like trust your intuition. Like intuition is the action here. And it's number 37. So that was 38. We're going right to 37. Use and develop your intuition. Your, your gut feeling is correct. You are, you are not your mind. Develop your magical skills further. Introduce more play into your life. Hmm. That's really curious because this is kind of saying that, you know, you might be thinking something that's not correct or you might be fearful or cautious of something. I'm not telling you to go and do anything crazy or dangerous or anything like that or or to um, establish unhealthy boundaries with anyone. It's just like there's some type of message. There's something going on around you or something's gone on around you. And it's as if the things that come through in your dreams are trying to kind of communicate to you a possible truth that you may not be aware of. And it's really, it's kind of like to trust your gut. So that's, right, trust your gut. When we talk about in intuition, like some people can say, okay, this is a thought that I have coming in or this is the feeling. The gut is just that instinct. <coughs> it's a very instinctive intuition. It's not a download. And then, you know, the obvious is have more fun. Get out and have more fun. Okay. The hidden deeper, what you need to know. Loyalty, 29. The time has come to re-examine your loyalties. Are you able to be trusted? Keep your word if you give it. Take relationships slowly and make sure to build strong connections. What promises have you made and must keep? <laughs> there you go. And how are these connected? That's really interesting. You have such intriguing cards, Scorpio. How are these connected? There's a promise here, perhaps, that you're being asked to keep. It has a deeper message. Like, I'm curious about that. Is it something that doesn't feel like it was a promise? Or was it something that was kind of like a statement, but not taken seriously? I don't know. But it is about examining your loyalties. What are you loyal towards? That's what you're being asked here. Also, to take relationships slowly. Don't jump into anything quickly, which is also good. I mean, maybe there's something here that needs to be uncovered at a certain sort of speed. It can't be something, they're knowing about something or knowing about someone. That's not something that can happen quickly here. Go with your gut. Give yourself time to assess this. Okay. Action to take is the watcher. So it is almost as if to allow things to unfold around you. See what happens. Take the high road. Do not sink to the level of low vibration. Observe the situation closely before acting. Being silent is an option. Ethics is the number one concern. It is best not to continually draw attention to yourself just for the sake of filling up your ego. A little mystery is a good thing. What's going on? I do feel like there's some type of mystery going on around you. And it might, I don't know, maybe fear might be strong, but it could come across as caution or apprehension. Um, yeah, this is, this is, there's something your dreams are trying to talk to you about that has to do with allowing something to unfold. It also feels like based on this card, it's not necessarily a good thing to get in there and start digging and asking questions and really making yourself seen here. It's kind of like to sit back, um, take on a very yin energy 
a very passive energy, but observant energy. <laughs> you could be in a situation where you've made some sort of promise or commitment here. And you're thinking, I'm not sure if I've done the right thing here. This is not how I thought this would unfold. But it is, you know, asking you to give something time. I would say that. Give something time. What do you, okay, what do you think of my hair? I cut it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cut, my Leo South Node is going as uh, keen up here. What do you think of that? Did I do a good job? I think I could have gone a little shorter with this layer. Look at me, huh? Very Renaissance. Sorry, I just drew attention to myself. Can I help it? I was proud of myself. You know? <laughs> Save myself like a hundred bucks every three to four months. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Fear, the obvious mesh, what you need to know. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Came out so we see it. It's the tree of life. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay, we're going, you are going down a very unfamiliar path, Scorpio, or you're going to be. It's kind of like, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid of the unknown. I know it seems weird, though. It doesn't seem like the kind of thing that I would typically think that I'd be giving a message to Scorpio. They, they do, and I don't want to say it's a false bravery. I don't know. I feel like Scorpio is pretty brave, <laughs> pretty brave and tough, but... <coughs> Maybe it's, you know, as I said, it could be apprehension. It could be like you don't know everything about something. It, maybe it's where you're going. Maybe you're apprehensive with how things have been unfolding in your life. You're like, oh, what the frick the universe is doing with me right now. Um, trust your gut here. Trust your gut. And I want to say your gut is probably telling you something about like this is a significant development in your spiritual growth and journey. And it's also reflected in your human existence, like things that are going on for you in this lifetime, right? Mm. Okay. Let's finish that shuffling. I don't quite finish it. Finish it. Now I do. Okay. Action to take is your intuition. The Ten of Cups. What does your intuition tell you about a group? What does your intuition tell you about family? That's curious, isn't it? Action to take is to build happiness. So build happiness, not fear. The tree of life, like this is destiny. This is some sort of predetermined destiny that you're walking into right now. I kind of want to say, though, you're leaving behind. This is also, like, you're leaving behind. It's so scorpionic to me. Just, like, death and rebirth on each side of this. Like, it's crazy, actually, that you would pull out this card. I, I've always gotten a real Scorpio vibe from it. It's also honoring cycles, right? We think about the cycles here, particularly like in nature. It's very pronounced in parts of Africa where they go through extreme drought and then the rain season comes and an area that looked like, you know, nothing could survive there. It suddenly becomes an oasis of life. So that's what's going on here for you. You're going from, you're transitioning. That's what your, your dreams are trying to tell you. You are transitioning and there may be points in time here where how things are unfolding or even what's coming through to you in dream state could be very confusing or you may not understand it or it might cause you to be apprehensive. Trust your gut here. I want to say to trust your gut about maybe family. Trust your gut about some people around you or your family. Now this could be good or bad, right? The hidden deeper is, is loyalty. The chariot, where are you taking your loyalties? Where are your loyalties going? Now, it also talks about like a promise. If you've made some type of a promise, are you upholding that promise? So watch. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. The palace of swords. That is the high intellect. Also, um, I want to say, like, I can almost describe it as maybe even sort of an Akashic Record energy. It's uh, cosmic knowledge. I feel, although, there's some type of knowledge and information that's going to be coming towards you. Now, you could receive it in a very unique way. You are being asked 
something with your intuition here. And I could see how this could also be part of that deeper action, right? There's something to there's something about this that feels like, you know, possibly also in any dreams that you're having, keep a little dream journal. You don't have to write down the details of exactly everything that has happened in your dreams. But I'm kind of thinking that there, there's something coming through here for me about symbols, the symbolism of things. Um, like, let's say there is, like there's um, a white leopard in your dream. As soon as you wake up, write it down. Write it down in anything else you can remember. Maybe there's a goose. <laughs> there's a goose. Uh, just odd things that might appear. I feel like those are little tidbits of information. You can like look them up and see what the meaning of these animals are or things that you are seeing the symbols of in your dreams. <coughs> like watch and higher learning. Very, very much higher learning with that. Now, loyalty could also be like a promise you've made to yourself. Honoring that could be a promise that you have made to the universe, to God, your guides, to spirit. Fear the tree of life. That's interesting. The ten of coins... The obvious message, the king of coins, the ten of wands, with great wealth comes great burden. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'll let you know if I ever get there. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> the obvious message, great wealth and responsibility comes great burden. Are you releasing the burden? Are you releasing the burden of wealth? What is, that's curious. I haven't clarified. I haven't had the need. Um, but let's see if the other cards give me more information to clarify. The Ten of Coins, the King of Coins, and the Ten of Wands. It's, yeah, like the responsibility here of, of wealth and enterprise. The weight of that. Maybe there's someone in your life who is going through this, who has this problem, this issue, because that's what the message, what you need to know. Destiny. Maybe this person, there's someone here who's part of your destiny. This person has so much wealth, it's the big fat burden. Well, I guess it could be because, you know, there are some people that will only choose to have people in their lives because of the wealth and resources that they have or status. And that can be difficult because you don't know who you can trust, right? Um, also, anything that has a great amount of resource needs uh, tending to and attention. Action to take is your intuition, Ten of Cups. The Three of Coins. The Emperor. And the king of wands. Well, now you got a couple of kings here. I'm going to pull out everything. Okay. The deeper hidden message to know is loyalty chariot. <laughs> Devil. The fool. Oh, freedom from something. Oh, something bad. Wow, and the palace of cups. Ooh. The snow leopard. And the Palace of Swords is the action to take. The Five of Swords, whatever it takes, baby. <laughs> whatever it takes. Faith, the Hierophant. And the Four of Coins. Almost like save your money. <laughs> save your money. Save your money. The Emperor, oh, the Empress and the Four of Wands is at the bottom. That's very interesting because the action to take is the Emperor area. So you have both the Emperor and the Empress here. You have... Two kings, the devil, the fool, and the hierophant. <laughs> you should be building with someone and somebody different. <laughs> that, that's what this looks like to me. You, you build with someone different here. 
right? This is an emperor. That's the action to take. Now, if, okay, here's the other thing. If this is you, if this is a situation that you find yourself in, you can be masculine or feminine and be showing up as the kings because this is your active energy. This is your yang energy, your own internal masculine. Um, I feel like there's some, right? Because this is underdeveloped with the Ten of Wands. The Wands is underdeveloped here. Is there some type of success that you've gained? And I don't know. It could, like, success that you've gained in the material world that might feel like that's as high as that ceiling goes. It goes higher, but it's not through that channel. It's not through, like, pentacles. It's not through earth energy. Right? Like, none of these branches are existing in the same elemental way. They're all different. And they all have a purpose and a significance and an importance. So this action here with the Three of Coins, the Emperor, and the King of Wands, this is like me. It feels like it's developing. It's really leveling up your desire, your passion, your creativity, your sense of self, your confidence, um, ego. And, I mean, the, here they are. They're sitting here in, I would say, this is a very strong egoic development. It doesn't feel bad. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups with intuition. This is being the strongest leader you can be. And then it's almost like when you activate this King of Wands energy, you move into Emperor energy. Like that creates the Emperor for you. You've mastered your Divine Masculine. Now, I want to say, though, there's also something here about leaving the burden behind of... It's almost like someone who's just a king of coins. There's another energy here for you to take. And with the three of coins, that's building. That's building. Building with this person, perhaps a happy family, a happy unit of some sort. And this person might be, I don't know, this person could be a fire sign specifically. Or this is the area where you have not... I don't know, maybe found partners. These could be romantic. They could be business. They could be best friends. They could be whatever. But it's kind of like the area of your life where people have fallen short. And that's, this is the, this is the area or, or, well, the area of your life in an interaction with a person where they've kind of fallen short. This person will maybe not take on or this person takes on weights and responsibilities that go way beyond, you know, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways that that could come, come through. But when you alleviate that and become the king of wands, or that's the energy that somebody else holds, it doesn't feel like there's anything that can stop you. Where this feels like everything stops. Everything stops you. So this is all part of some type of major rebirth that you were going through. Some of you, you're elevating your divine, ma your own divine masculine into that. With Emperor, others of you, I feel like you're moving, you might even be going to build with someone who's a divine masculine and follow your intuition on this. <clears throat> follow your intuition on this. Now, the hidden deeper message. <coughs> I always think of the devil as possible promises that have been made, right? And so here's the thing, because with this card, it could you could be stating if you made a promise, you got to keep it no matter what. But a lot of times you can make a promise to somebody, but they do not hold up their end of it. And so you're like, you know, what? I'm not going to work with you like this. This is ridiculous. You said that we would split this, this uh, create a project 50 50. I would do this. Do that. You've always got an excuse why you don't come in or what person, the person that you are having this issue with has a per particularly, I'm saying when it shows up like the devil, this is like something not right here. It's, um, that person has already stepped out of the agreement. Even though they may say, no, I'm still your partner here. I'm still doing this with you. They're not. That, that agreement has already been broken because the, um, what's the term I'm looking for? The, uh, oh, just shit. 
channeling and thinking. I don't know if that two, those two parts of my brain will be able to work at the same time. It's the deeper meaning of the contract. It's not whether you're showing up or not. It's how you're showing up. <laughs> what it is. Um, I want to say that I feel like your loyalties are moving here. Something is moving in the realm of loyalties. Because this is... The devil is like, oh yeah, I got you by the short and curlies now. <laughs> you're all mine. This is going to be great fun. But to, to free your... To, someone to free themselves of that with the fool? That's... Very good. Very, very good. I kind of want to say, too, that there might be a lot of things that are, like, leaving your life. Or friendships, relationships that have vacated your life here. Based on, like, the obvious message. Maybe that's something that's about to happen for you, too. Like, maybe this is even giving you a heads up. Maybe it's giving you a deeper vision of how everything is going to unfold for you. Um, at the, the, the transitional point of your soul's journey. Because I feel like there's going to be a change in loyalty here for you. This really, to me, there's something not right. Something is not right here, and it's freeing oneself of that. Codependency, imprisonment, toxicity. <clears throat> Great, right? I love this deck because it really does highlight the journey of the fool in the major arcana. I think he... No, he doesn't. He doesn't appear... He's not in there. He doesn't appear in every card... But he certainly does. He, she certainly does at many different areas. And here, I love this, right? This is like the fool has found themselves. Because the journey of the fool is starting a new, a new leg of something that you are unfamiliar with. There's lessons, experiences, and people that you've not encountered in lifetimes. And you're going to learn about them, right? That's all about the fool. Because you don't know what's ahead of you. And you don't have any experience navigating this. You don't have experience to lean into here. <clears throat> and where does the fool then find themselves at some point? Um, detained by the devil. Detained by the devil. But the cage is open. The cage is open. But it's kind of like the devil... Um, well, I could say that with Larry. <laughs> I can't Larry. Or even, actually, no, a better example of that is Lily. My little dog, Lily. There was a point in her life where, yeah, if she could have gotten free and run away, she probably would have. She would have wanted to come back. She probably wouldn't have known how. But now at this stage in her life, she's gotten way too comfortable with everything being looked after for her, not having to worry about the dangers in the world. Right? Like, And I mean, that can be codependency that we talk about with the devil too. So if the, the door is open, but he won't go. He's been left to, fi to feel um, less than incapable of so there's a freedom here that occurs, and the fool is once again off on this fresh journey. It kind of tells me, too, like not bringing any karma from the past forward with you. And then this is, okay, this is an area where emotional experience, um, your deepest emotions, they cannot be interfered with. So, too, I guess it's the other thing, too, if there was any sort of emotional manipulation that was tied into this devil energy it's moving away from that you could even there could also be a hidden deeper message here about moving with the chariot you could actually move to a new area location yeah, very interesting okay and then the action to take is the watcher palace of swords five of swords the faith card and the four of coins Honestly, it tells is like have faith. You know, it is the Herofin, but it just screams so loudly. Particularly right now, how it's coming across, it has something to do with faith and whatever that means to you, right? Like there's so many different religious and spiritual symbols around that monk. It's whatever faith means to you in whatever way you personally, on an intimate level, collect connect with the universe, your guides, God, whatever. Is to maintain and see what God shows you. <laughs> See, see what God shows you here. Because I also feel like there could even possibly be, you could be in a situation and you don't know how to get yourself out of it. God will show you how to get out of this. If you need to save your money, if you're in some sort of codependent situation and you need to save your money, maybe there's someone else here who has all the money, has all the resources. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting, 
reminds me a little bit of I was watching it just came across my feed um I don't know if you know this <laughs> I'm just gonna say this is coming from my Lily you want to come down talk come down talk but there's this whole trend going on about like trad wives trad wife and they're just like glorifying it on social media apparently in france i had been i was i don't know if it's true but in france there's this huge influx of young women who are not getting an education they've made their their mission is to find a husband <laughs> and they're not anyways so where i'm going with this i came across she came onto my feed she was a mormon wife she had very little education her life revolved around her husband, and they had four kids. Actually, they had four kids and an adopted child. And, um, oh, yeah, he started leading, like, a completely separate life. He was having hookers, and he was, just, like, sleeping all over town. Well, he traveled a lot for work. Anyways, so that marriage didn't go too well. She tried, anyways, <laughs> but... She basically had to start from scratch, right? And so she's made this channel, and I'm applauding her. I'm like, thank you, because there are so many young girls that have no idea how important it is to maintain their own financial security. Because um, one of the greatest um, indicators, or uh, I guess it would cause um, any type of abuse in a relationship, is... Um, not having any financial independence of your own. And it just feels like a big step backwards. I mean, because I'm seeing something here like that. It's like claiming your independence in some way for yourself. And God will show you how to do that. God will show you how to do that. Like that's, and God will also show you what action to take. It does look like something saving your money even possibly. Yeah, are you coming in again? I don't know what has been. I know Gemini got mad at me because I kind of booted him out. Because it's what? It's just over and over again. And then they extend it over and over again. No. You come and say hi. You have your own channel. I uploaded a short video of you today. So people can go and see you there. <laughs> I love you. You do smell like smoke. I know you You just want to be loved. That's why it's just so hard. He's so codependent on love now. He's like, I can't rub myself and hold myself like this. <laughs> We're going to go do the extended Scorpio. In the extended, we're going to ask, oh my God, why is Larry such a mush puff? <laughs> ask, how does your ego block you from receiving these messages? Not the table, not the table. Mwah. And how does your higher self help you to receive these messages? That's what we are going to look at, Scorpio. All right. Fix my cards. Thanks, Scorps. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.